Hey everyone, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can add the product page using the Frameship plugin inside of Framer. So first things first, we're gonna create a new page inside of Framer. And we're gonna make this a CMS page for my store, which is the CMS collection I've set up, which is connected to Shopify. And we're gonna create a detail page here. And you can see it's already started to pull all of my content and products across. Now, for now, I like a clean canvas, so let's just get rid of all that. And let's paste in our header. I'm just gonna turn my layout on so we have a little bit more structure from the get-go. All right, great. Now what I'm gonna do is head to the Frameship plugin and I'm gonna add my product page component. And we'll just drag this onto my page. Okay, cool. So we've got all the bones for my actual page here, but you'll notice it's not actually pulling any of the content. Now, similar to any other CMS page inside of Framer, we actually need to link it to the content within the CMS. So if I select my title here and go down to content and click on this little plus, you'll notice I can set the variable to be any field from my Shopify store. But in this case, since it's the title, I'm gonna select title. If I wanna select the category, I could do that too. So I might set the variable to be product type. And if I click on each one of these components, essentially I just need to do some linking. Now, anywhere that there's a field where it says Shopify data, I just need to make sure that it's connected to, well, Shopify data. So I'll do that on my variants here. I might even do it on my inputs and even the add to cart button. Now, this is a little tedious and a little manual to set up. Unfortunately, you can't actually copy this across automatically within Framer right now. So you just need to go through and double check that all your components are set up and is syncing to Shopify data or to another field within your Framer CMS. So we'll select on the image here and we'll set the variable to be the image. And let's also set the price. Okay, but pretty quickly, you can see we've already pulled in a lot of that data and our pages are actually starting to look like proper product pages, right? Now, if I publish this, I can actually test it out a little bit. So let's just publish this and open it up in the browser. Now, as you can see, this web page is pretty functional. Uh, now, my add to cart button won't work yet because I haven't actually set up my cart components. But if I click on buy now, you'll notice it'll open me in a new page where I can check out directly in Shopify for that item. 